Hi, welcome to the Roman News Network. Today we have a special program for you to celebrate the birthday that has recently passed the Marcus Aurelius, one of the better emperors of Rome. Emperor Aurelius was known as one of the five good emperors of Rome, along with Nerva, Trajan, Hadrian, and Antonius Pius. He generally worked for the good of the public, along with the lower classes, unlike many of the other emperors, although he was unfortunately plagued with lots of warfare during his days. And during his time, the persecution of the Christian faith came up, so he had to deal with that. Yo. Aurelius was born on April 26 in the year 121. His grandfather was consul at the time, and little is known about his childhood, but as he grew older, he was introduced into Stoic philosophy, and later became an influence in Rome, which led to his career as emperor. Here we have the body of Emperor Aurelius himself. Legend has it, his body stayed warm to this day. Although, I'm not so sure that's true. But because his birthday was just a few days ago, or what would have been his birthday, we have the rare chance to examine him for ourselves. <laughs> It asserts the virtue, like wisdom, it's happiness, and then judgment should be based on behavior rather than words. And so basically what it's trying to say is that we, like things that we can't control and we cannot rely on external events, we can only rely on ourselves and our responses to those events. Like it has a few central teachings and it sets out, sets out to remind us how unpredictable the world can be, how brief our moment in life is, how to be steadfast, strong, and in control of yourself, and finally, that the source of our dissatisfaction lies in our impulsive dependency on our reflexive senses rather than logic. He popularized this by his book called The Meditations. This was basically just a collection of his notes and personal journals that he wrote, and there were a collection of 12 of them. He wrote them for himself, and they were never meant to be published, but they published them anyways. <laughs> And so, some interesting quotes by Marcus are, Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is perspective and not the truth. See, like, a lot of his quotes can be used in today's life as well. And another one is, When you arise in the morning, think of what a pre precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. And then, the last quote I have for you is, Very little is needed to make a happy, happy life, but it's all within yourself and in your way. The Marcus Aurelius engaged in many wars throughout his reign, and the Macromanic Wars were waging the whole time he was in office. They were trying to subdue the barbaric tribes from rebelling and invading the country. And then, so then after they did that, um, they defeated and killed. And then during this campaign, there was an incident called the Miracle of Rain. Basically what happened is there was a drought, they were, it was very hot, they were dying of thirst, and then suddenly it just started pouring down rain. A lot of people say it was like divine intervention, but I mean they were Roman, so who knows. <laughs> and then they also did, um, erected a column for this miracle. After eight years, Marcus was finally able to go to Rome for the first time after defeating all of these tribes and subduing all the rebellions. And then the last two wars were just against Germanic tribes, and not much is known about them, but the Romans won every time, like usual. But basically, what resulted in these wars is that a lot of Rome's northern frontier is weakened a lot because they had lost a lot of their legions and troops with all this fighting with the Germanic tribes. So here's how uh, Marcus became emperor. 
In 136, Marcus was engaged to some chick named Sionia Fabia or something like that, who happened to be the daughter of Commodus, the successor to Hadrian. And uh, Commodus died about two years later, along with Hadrian, and the engagement was an old. Hadrian's sec second successor of choice was Antonius Pius, who adopted Marcus and Lucius Verus, and his name became Marcus Aurelius Antonius. Hadrian dies, Pius becomes the emperor, Antonius dies, 161, and Marcus and Lucius become co-emperors until Lucius hits it in 169 and Marcus is left as the emperor. Bye.